Decentralised schemes is an umbrella term covering local, small-scale water supply options that are currently not used for drinking. This may change in the future with new technologies and changes to regulations. Most schemes currently supply water for local use, which can range from irrigation to household uses, such as toilet flushing and garden watering. At the moment, these schemes need to be implemented in combination with a drinking water source solution to meet our water supply needs. Decentralised schemes provide water for local consumers and reduce demand on the bulk water supply system. There are a number of different types of decentralised schemes to consider. The first is stormwater harvesting, which involves diverting and treating stormwater runoff from urban catchments for local use. The viability of stormwater harvesting depends on catchment conditions, climate, soil type, the landscape, available storage and demand. The variable quality and quantity of the stormwater and the intended use can mean treatment is more costly than for other larger water sources. One benefit is a reduction in localised flooding because the stormwater is captured. Regulatory frameworks and quality management schemes need to be established for stormwater harvesting to be a viable option. Another decentralised option is the harvesting of rainwater, generally into rainwater tanks, which offsets demand for drinking water. The quality of rainwater is better than that of stormwater, but there are currently no quality control measures in place. As a result, rainwater is generally not recommended for drinking. Rainwater is not a resilient supply. If there is no rain, there's no rainwater. And the harvesting of rainwater is limited by the available storage capacity. The bigger the tank, the more water it can capture when it does rain. In general, decentralised recycled water schemes are designed to supply water that's not for drinking. Uses include irrigation, industry or in homes, for example toilet flushing, garden watering and firefighting. Therefore, the treatment of non-drinkable recycled water is designed with the end use in mind. The final decentralised scheme option is sewer mining. This involves taking sewage directly from a sewer and treating it appropriately to make recycled water that is presently not for drinking. Sewer mining only treats the water to a quality suitable for its intended end use, for example, irrigation of parks or golf courses. This is a relatively new concept compared to other water supply options, so sewer mining costs are generally higher. The costs should reduce as technology improves. Sewer mining is a climate resilient water source and as with recycled water, it can result in the reuse of both water and nutrients, and in the process divert nutrients from entering waterways. To recap on all the decentralised schemes, stormwater harvesting can provide benefits during times of flood, but is not a very resilient option and at this stage, it's costly. Rainwater harvesting is also not a resilient water supply option. It can help reduce local flooding and the water quality is higher than that of stormwater. Recycled water is climate resilient and enables the reuse of nutrients. And the relatively new concept of sewer mining is currently a more costly option. It is climate resilient and reuses water and nutrients.